Hello, we are connecting to the Open Weather, Open Weather API and getting weather data back. And we have used the Open Weather documentation to figure out an API endpoint for openweathermap.org and we're getting weather data back. And now we're gonna bring this into App Lab and show you how to make this request connect to this endpoint using App Lab. First of all, just to note, it's a good idea to do this in a Chrome tab first to put your API endpoint in the URL and make sure you're getting data back and you're not getting any errors because then you know that you are successfully connecting to the API endpoint and it's working. And then once you know that, then you can bring that into App Lab and any problems you have, you know, will be about how you're implementing it in App Lab and it's not a problem with the API endpoint itself. So I'm just going to copy that and I have this App Lab project and I'm just going to paste that in there just so that we can know we have that endpoint. Okay, we're going to use that in a bit. Now, how would we connect to that endpoint in App Lab? We would use the start web request and this requires a URL, which is what we just generated. And it, it has a second parameter, which is a callback function. So let's bring that start web request into our project. And it defaults in this really long URL, which is about connecting to the Wikipedia API and searching for something. It looks like it's searching for something related to computers. Um, we're going to clear out that default URL that App Lab puts in for us and delete that. And we're just left with uh, empty quotation marks for our URL parameter. And that's where we're going to put our URL from open weather. So we'll delete the, this comment and then shift command right arrow highlights the whole thing. Command X to delete it, bring it up here and put it inside our, that's not what I want to do. Shift command, command X. We want to put it in between these quotation marks. So command V and so now we've just entered our URL and I can just do command left arrow gets me back to the beginning of this line and we'll close the toolbox so we have a little more room. And so this is our web request. Let's just run it and see what happens. Nothing, which is kind of a good thing. It didn't give us any errors. It looks like it's working. But what does it do? Well, it sends this URL, we request to open weather. And then when that connection is made, this callback function executes. And this callback function has three parameters. It tells us the status of our request, the type of request, and it tells us the content that came back from that request. And we're interested in this content. So let's take a look at that content. And we can do that by console.log and we'll log out that content to the console and let's see what we get. So we hit reset run. Fantastic, we are getting weather data back. So we are successfully hitting the open weather API and we're getting this weather information, which has coordinates and wind speed and temperature. It looks like weather information, very hard to read, right? And we can notice that this is a string because it starts with a quotation mark and ends with a quotation mark. So App Lab is processing this as just one long string. It just knows this is just a collection of characters. It's a long string. We're gonna parse this into what's called JSON data, JavaScript object notation. And we can do that by this built-in function. Uh, we're gonna take, we'll call our variable, let's call it data equals, and then JSON dot parse the content. So that means we're going to take the content and we're going to turn it into a JavaScript object notation. And so then we'll console.log the result of that data and see what that gets. So when we parse this, we got an error because we typed data wrong and we should initiate uh, create that with var. Okay, so now we're getting the same data back, but now it's parsed as a JavaScript object notation object, right? So it's turned it that crazy string 
into an object, which is a little bit easier to deal with. We've done this before. So we've got this wind. It's an object. It's got a wind property and the wind has speed and degrees. So let's, how would we grab that information? So instead of logging out all the data, let's log out the data object dot wind and see what that gets us. Okay, yeah, so it gives us the wind object which has a speed and degree. So if we did wind dot speed, we would expect it to log 5.1 to the console. And it does. Excellent. So we're, we can access the information in this data structure. Right, so we had this object and we looked at, uh, the, and the object is called data, we've named it data. Data.wind.speed was 5.1. So we can get any of this stuff, right? If we wanted to get, look at the weather property, although this one's gonna be a little bit complicated. The weather is an array with one object. Okay, so how are we gonna access that? Let's say we wanted to get weather, we, we wanted the description. So we know it's gonna be data.weather. Let's just see what we get there. Data.weather is an array. You can see those two square brackets. It's an array with one thing inside of it. It's got an object inside of it. And the, the uh, item in the array at index zero is this object, and it's got the properties ID, main, description, and icon. So how do we get something that's at array index? The first thing in the array, the only thing in the array is gonna be at index zero. So that's the notation for that. And once we've got that array, it's an object, so we can access its properties using dot notation. So we can say dot description, and that's gonna give us heavy intensity rain. Let's try it, and it works, heavy intensity rain. Great, so we've got, we are connecting to the Open Weather API, and we are getting the data back, and we are parsing that data into JavaScript object notation, and then we're using our dot notation and our, and our experience with arrays to find the values we want in there. When we come back, we'll look more at this start web request. Thanks for watching.